And we're back. What up, bros? <laughs> it's the Toy Bros in the house. We got some cool shit this week. We got a lot of shit this week. We guys. definitely got a lot of shit. The, the holiday shit is starting to drop in all the stores. You got your New York Comic Con reveals, all that kind of shit like that. Um, Like this. But I've, and like this. I probably spent like 300 <laughs> bucks easy this week just on a bunch of NECA shit all dropped at the same time. Some uh, new Marvel Legends that came in the mail. That everybody was getting a week before us. Archangel! Uh, just lots of stuff like that. And uh, I was pretty good weekend for, for total reviews. Yeah, I got Archangel. You got Archangel. I, he got Archangel. I got Archangel. He got Black Mana. I didn't get Black Mana. Yeah, I got the whole Aquaman wave, which I had. I really had to search for I got for the that. fucking AIM. I got the AIM Troopers, which we, we talked about in a video, two videos ago. Yes. So we're gonna crack we're excited these guys to get open. these guys are just and really cool figures. I'm super stoked to get this guy to add him to my X Men collection because the only one I, I have like the regular Warren Worthington Archangels where he's not blue, and then I have like the old school Toy Biz one that had the missiles on his back and shit, and like the wings just suck on like the wings broke off, so he's got these little stumps. Yeah, and it just I've seen yeah I've seen some Google it, this, pictures this of that. This figure is way fucking cooler than that one. I'll give him that because toy a lot of people hate on Toy Biz. But you gotta think that they're from fucking 15 years ago too. At, keep that in mind. So they did they did a good job of making Marvel Legends popular, but a lot of these newer figures side by side out, comparisons. There's no comparison. Yeah, like all these new figures. Some of them out are better. Are they're really dope. Um, they're getting better on the sculpts and shit like that. We should do a video of that one time. Just a bunch of older and newer. I like, did that in my Toy Biz Toy Flights. Did you Toy Biz versus Hasbro? Check that video out if you want to watch that video. So. Yeah, I'm going to bust this guy open and we'll start checking him out because he's really fucking cool. Fucking big ass. Alright, guys. There he is out of the package. Yep. Fucking amazing. Look and at them wings. Just the glittering and gleaming. His power is to have wings and hollow bones. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he fucks people up with them wings, especially in the new movie. They show him just tearing shit up if you don't know this is what apocalypse did to him he made him one of his four horsemen basically the angel of death and uh he experimented on him and gave like took his old wings off and put metal ones on and he actually shoots like shards of metal out yeah just fucking cool which that would have been cool if they actually added that effect to it like gave you like almost like gambits cards. never fucking happy are you I, you know, I'm just saying. Like, you guys try to inspire you to make your own. You could customize some little fucking. Well, there was like that one figure, the bullseye, I think it was. Or he yeah. had like the knives coming out of his fingers, and that was yeah, like an like effect that. that was cool. Or yeah. like a, if, like, you know, like and a that could be easily something figure. that you could just stick onto the wings. Yeah. And these wings, like, they move around. Like, he wrap himself up in there like that. Yep. Shit is fuck badass. He's got like a double set on yeah. his back I was here. Gonna show those. Which makes me think that the Toy Biz one was, was a little more accurate because that's what I was talking about. They added that backpack missile pack and also had wings that came off it like that. And it made it just, he was way too bulky in his back. He's, they're shiny and they come with like uh, jizz on them. <laughs> yeah, there was something all <laughs> over them. This had something sticky all was. over them and mine had something sticky. I just... Possibly a bodily fluid. I'm not sure it where this like, even came from. It tasted from. like a bodily like, fluid. If it's made Salty. in China, maybe somebody had to go to the bathroom. But he comes with these heads, too, the and I don't even fucking... Basically, this is his unmasked face. Like, he's got blue skin after the experiment was done on him, which I'll do some little pop-ins of that. And then he's got, like, his crazy psycho face, which is just a repaint of the Adam Warlock head from the Guardians of the Galaxy Wave 2. Whoever is very upset about that repaint. Yeah, I mean, you know how Hasbro is. They like to redo all that shit. And then that's like his death mask when he's one of the horsemen for Apocalypse. And what's cool about this figure, too, is they actually added an extra Build-A-Figure piece for Apocalypse. So I say they copied DC on that. Cause remember DC did that with Ares I and shit? I think these two look badass and King together. King Shark, where you get alternate Build-A-Figure pieces. Yeah. But yeah, they added a little claw well, for the Apocalypse. You got the new Kingpin build figure coming, and then the two pack are for the build 
build a wheelchair for <laughs> Professor X. Professor X. <laughs> And Deadpool, it's gonna he looks have really cool. Kingpin alternate head in that. Professor X does. Is that the one with like his weird face? Yep, and like he's got he almost it's like a yeah, monster know, face. That was yeah. really cool looking. But yeah, they got a Deadpool coming out that uh, for the riders. It's um, on a moped. It's on a moped. He's got a dog pool and squirrel pool. pool. But the only thing that I I, I want to get it, I definitely want to get it, but it just sucks that dog pool doesn't have any articulation. Like it looks like he's stuck. Like never home. fucking says. He rides just on. Just can't be happy back. with it. We can't all on, customize can our get, own and have two fucking, when that comes out. Well, no, because I know he's up here on this fucking shelf somewhere. Who? Dog pool. Nah, I don't know where that is. That looked like shit. I could make one out of that little dog over there though. Make yeah, it was cool that they added a build a figure piece, kind of like King Shark and Ares from the DC waves. That's what they did. Remember, you get the um, Order of the Owls, Robin. And you got the hammerhead. Who would like to see head. Toy Bro Rob and Toy Bro Matt fight to the death for this build a figure? <laughs> I would. But you must do it. I would stab you with Archangel's fucking wings. You're going to have to fight a team. Yeah! <laughs> but no, he's dope, guys. Like I said, I'm really excited because I never got a chance to get this figure. And hopefully, people that didn't like me got it. You can either get it from Entertainment Earth. Or you could have pre-ordered it from GameStop. You can um, go to GameStop and buy it, just and they will mail it to your house for shipping costs, but you can he, do it that way, too. He was a really hard figure to find when he came out. I actually saw one when Chris used to have Kryptonite Comics. He had it for like 30 or 35 bucks, and I don't remember if I bought it or not. I don't think that I did, which I was stupid if I didn't, but he was the paint job was a little different. It was kind of darker. And then there was an X Force uh, Archangel variant of that figure too that I never got. They, they did a lot that I missed out on. Right when Hasbro picked up the Legends from Toy Biz, mm -hmm. um, I missed out on a lot of those figures. He so. stands real well too with the wings. I mean, it's just not easy to make them or not hard you to kind of help them stand them up. But I'm gonna hang them up there with my Sauron and stuff over my X Men collection. Up there, you can't see. It's like where Matt's totally got awesome. fucking all that. You shit. guys saw it. I don't know if I panned on it long enough on my collection video. See your but helicopter with all your Deadpools hanging off. I got the Deadpools and I got Sauron hanging over all my X Men. <laughs> so I do like my. I got Banshee and Storm and shit and Rogue. I can hang them from there and Archangel, but I don't have enough room. I think I'll just stick to Archangel for now. I think everybody can agree. Every collector just doesn't have enough fucking room. No. And no, if you do have enough room, you don't have enough toys. So fuck you just, yourself. You just keep getting more so they just accumulate and then you have to keep trying to... Boy, I went crazy cleaning my garage this weekend, which and is like my start, toy cave. And start putting one hand in one hand and going, ah, I don't need to throw it in a box. Well, I'm about to redo my whole shelves and I have like boxes I'm trying to organize DC and Marvel and random and freaking this and that and mm -hmm. got boxes on top of boxes full of just shit y'all ain't never even seen but as far as articulation goes he looks like basically almost like the havoc figure like the same body mold that they use for that doesn't look much different or one of the like spider-man ones his feet do look a little different he's got little indentations in them so i mean that's he, for aerodynamic he's got the same articulation that you would expect from a marvel legend yeah, Nowadays. they're pretty much standard, you know, we're... I mean, if you have one of the skinnier body molds like him, you pretty much know um, how his articulation is going to be. And his wings, I don't think his wings really hinder his yeah. his articulation of his body. And then there's, you know, what is it, one joint here, one joint here, and these have joints. Yep. So there's like three on each wing. As you saw earlier, he can even like wrap himself in his wings. That's a fucking cool. Like aerodynamic, oh. like diving like a sound effect. Oh, I didn't get to do the sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> Donovan's like, are you fucking crazy? <laughs> he just dropped it straight on its head. It's called death head. That's what it's you fucking right, do with it, dude. I can I can repaint stuff and and get scuffs out of them, but yeah, I like his his regular archangel head. I'm gonna keep him like that. Pretty fucking awesome. I think, uh, you guys do you think didn't this would make like a out. nice Toy Bro Rob or Toy Bro Matt custom that head right there? Jamie Lannister. I don't know about that. His name yeah. is Warren Worthington III. <coughs> he was a rich boy and his dad disowned him when he found out he had wings. So they kind of did, like, the X3 almost did his, his storyline right, like his origin story. Where he just bailed on his dad and he ended up going to the X Mansion. 
I don't know if he... Stay out of my life! Yeah, they kind of made it weird with the fucking uh, Age of Apocalypse movie. Like, they didn't do the... Like, they tried to incorporate Archangel, but I don't know. He didn't really... They didn't hit the mark for me. I liked him in the new movie. Apocalypse was cool. Nah. They, that guy's in too much shit, man. Isaac... What is his name? I don't fucking know. He's in everything now. He's in fucking if, Star Wars. If you fucking say so. He's in fucking everything. Everybody's in everything. What's the guy from Jurassic Park that's goddamn fucking Star Lord? Chris Pratt. Yeah, yeah he's just Star Lord. You fucking fuck. like he's him in though. Star because... Lord and Jurassic Park. That's it. <laughs> no, he's this, this way dude, more shit than Isaac just that. Isaac, fuck. What the hell is his fucking name? Something. Damn it. Moving on. Yeah. Anyway, we're gonna open this next, so we'll get right back to you, fuck. Here they are, guys, in all their fucking glory. The AIM Troopers. I know and my everybody guys. is excited to get these guys. I put their heads on their shoulders. My favorite part is Sorry. their their heads. Yeah, they look like uh, they look like they're wearing hazmat suits, but it's because they're supposed to be scientists. Um, I would guess you would say this guy would be more of a shock trooper, and this would be more of a scientist because he's all geared up with holsters and shit, and he's just got like some straps. But I actually like this one better. I think he looks cool. Yeah, I like this one better. I like the... And basically, they're like, fucking, they, they try to acquire, like, technology and shit like that. And they were members of Hydra, but then they, like, defected because they had different political views. Basically, they weren't Nazis like Hydra is. Yeah, they weren't. <laughs> so they... Racist fucks. They broke off, but they're still bad guys, and they do fight the Avengers and groups like that um, just all over the world. I'm sure they've had run-ins with all kinds of different teams from Fantastic Four and X-Men, shit like that. Um, but they're neat that they make like these extra enemies for you. Um, it just depends if you want to spend the money, because this probably retails around like 40 to $50, depending on where you get it. <clears throat> Because it does come with two legends. And it um, also comes with this totally awesome background. Totally you have a fucking a secret lair. Oh, look at that. It looks so awesome in there. You can't see really the detail on I it. Know, I'm fucking... It's got a computer chair. It's so cool. <laughs> yeah, it's got, you can use those to take pictures yeah, with, man, like just... with your figures. Um, just don't use flash and try not to point your lights like right at it. So yeah, man, you turn your clear. lights upwards and just illuminate the area and not... On directly at yeah. it, and you won't get that glare. And you can take little cool pictures, like the like. I like taking real pictures. I don't like. I'm not a fan of like the people that do the Photoshop stuff. Like some of it looks really cool. I'll give them that. But I think it's so much cooler if you can take like just a natural area and take a cool picture with it. It's it's a lot more. Satisfying. I want to show this dude's feet. They look fucking weird <laughs> to me. He thought I got fucked and I got too right. You don't see. Look at. Look at it. It looks like it. It like kicks. It's just this the, way. It's just know. like he's he's a badass scientist that likes cowboy boots. He's got he's got <laughs> fancy footwear. He's like he's he's professional and smart, but he's also rugged. Oh, is he? Like you? You're no toy bro man. You're rugged. No, I just I I cleaned up today. You ain't shaved in like fucking since you met me. I fucking shaved yesterday. Can Where? you not fucking <laughs> tell? Look at that neckline. Look at that. My hair just grows fast, guys. Neckline. I don't got a neck beard. But they do come with two alternate heads, which is pretty much the same shit from the Hydra 2-pack. Um, We never did do a video on those, did we? No. I got like three of them. Did you really? <laughs> yeah. you have one not open? No. Fuck piece of shit. No, I think I took that cool picture with Red Skull and Crossbones. I love my toy bro, man. My Matt. Hydra 2-pack. But He's sometimes, a stingy bitch. Hey. Hey, you guys, I only got three of these two packs, Toy Bro Rob. Sorry. You guys know how cutthroat the fucking toy industry is, especially with Marvel Legends and NECA. God. But like people people are crazy with this shit, man. Like this some is of the shit they do. Gauss rifle or whatever he comes with. Uh, yeah, it's almost essentially all the same stuff as the Hydra two pack. They both the come vest. they have these little things rolled up in a in a spot in the packaging, but it's like little um gun holsters almost but you can't put your guns in them so it's yeah. like ammo but they go on their shoulders but... well they're, sp they're supposed to be like straps for like the backpack yeah there you go they actually fit a peg into his back and it makes it look like he's got straps it's pretty cool it, it only just... comes with one backpack it only comes with one backpack and I, so earlier... that's why you have to buy three two packs and earlier... not share them with your <laughs> fucking friends <laughs> earlier I thought this gun I had it like pointed backwards so you would be like oh <laughs> <laughs> Like, I couldn't tell which like, way. Hey, excuse me, uh, do we have any more backpacks? 
No more backpacks? Okay, I'm standing here next to this guy. Oh, accidental oh. discharge. Oh, hey, look, backpack yeah. not in use. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they're cool if you want to do, like, because you know what I mean? Like, you, sometimes you get, like, the super villains to go with, like, your Avengers and scenes like that, but sometimes you want, like, the... These are, like, the generic enemies of Marvel, like, the Hydra. I don't give a guys. fuck. These head sculpts are fucking dope as yeah, hell. I cool. want a whole army and of these I guys. I actually think they... I want to buy three, four packs and not give any to my fucking friends. I think these are remakes of... They, they already came out with this not too... Like, a long, <coughs> not a long time ago. They were out with them uh, around the Captain America, like, Winter Soldier waves, maybe? Yeah, I do kind of remember a figure looking like that. Yeah. Maybe I'm, they I'm did have sure, one. I'm pretty sure it was a one guy. It was just a one dude. And it's actually something that I've seen at uh, Megacon. It was fairly expensive. I think it went 80 oh. bucks for one. And they're doing Hydra Bob. He was another one of the, the uh, releases for Comic-Con. And it's just the Hydra Soldier with a smile. So They, they have go. a Jubilee coming out. Yep. It's like they're... They're like getting rid of the scalpers because they did they like repackage shit like the Star they're Wars giving us black like, figures. Mm-hmm. They're repackaging like Bosk and Boba Fett, and those are like super fucking like if you didn't get them, they're like a hundred bucks online. So like I think it's cool. That's one thing I like about Hasbro is they're like remaking it, so the scalpers are like shit. <laughs> hey man, it's giving a chance so, to I'm gonna, us yeah, to pick up way, the ones that we missed out on that we don't exactly. have the money. Yeah. I don't have a hundred dollars for yeah, a figure. Yeah, who's got a, that kind of money? It's like I just want to collect this figure because I like it. Why do I have to pay a hundred dollars for it? It's I mean, bullshit. Yeah, I, I buy a hundred dollar figures, but but they're worth a hundred fucking not, dollars. Not a Marvel Legend that retails at twenty bucks. Though. No, I'm absolutely sorry. fucking it's not. It's gotta be like a chorus guy. Like I've like actually been this thinking about that. This motherfucker over there. What's up with the toy Can you prices get that? there? What? Oh, get him. Grab this. I thought we were doing. I'm no, totally against no this. DC. And, no DC in Marvel videos, but. <laughs> Yeah, I got this for forty eight bucks this week. Hundred dollar so figure, paid forty eight dollars for it. I dropped his battery. And this motherfucker, he's gonna, he's gonna appreciate this. He's not gonna try and sell it. Look at fucking nah. battering, big it's ass the battering. Flag. I've been looking as at this thing. Biggest dude's fucking goddamn for shoulder like and arm. Two years, and every time I go in the store, I ask the people, "Is it on sale?" And they're like, "No, not today." Oh, I can't and see like, me scratching his back. Crotch. I walked in. Friday, and they were like, it's on sale, and I was like, get it down. <laughs> people behind the counter way up here. And I was like, get that boy ready. So 48 bucks for 100 and they retail at like 108 or 130 in different stores. You usually get them online for like 100 shipped, but I mean, that's a fucking badass deal. Yep. I gotta go back and see if they got more shit. So Tober Rob got an X-Force Deadpool, and I got Batflick for 100 bucks they put 50 bucks for mine and 48 for his mm-hmm. I mean that's fucking that's killer go into FYE yep. make friends with people be nice and uh, you fucking get hooked up sometimes yeah cause they don't appreciate that a lot shit. of times they don't advertise that shit's on sale like they'll just you get it up there and they'll be like oh it's uh, I just have another manager and he was in bucks. there just talking shit at me cause he knows who I am and the next mm-hmm. thing you know he had it wasn't on sale and he had to eat <laughs> his words and <laughs> sell it to him he for, had to honor the deal but he was cool man and I appreciate that shit and shout out to you bro <laughs> get get him over here real quick so we can Archangel yeah I just wanna show him off real Archangel. quick Archangel alright so, so, yeah, pretty good showcase for the Marvel Legends today. That was a badass fucking video, man. We got some fucking dope-ass figures yeah, here, know, man. We were lucky we enough guys, to scoop them up. We love, like, all kinds of action figures. We don't hate on DC and Marvel. Like, we like them equally. And we just do, so. a, we do a lot of Marvel, man. It's just, like, they be putting that shit out there. That's like, yeah. if you watch our Megacom video, we talk about stuff all the time. We go there, we bought mostly DC <laughs> shit. I got, like, like you don't see that shit movie. anywhere. He bought the whole goddamn Clayface wave. Mm-hmm. Freaking, oh, so much DC yeah, we, shit, they're, they're, we just don't get a lot of DC And it's stuff, all the so villains. It's, <laughs> it's rough, man. Like, yeah, because there are some so cool bad guys are awesome. Like, just because the Marvel movies make are more popular doesn't mean that they're not equally as cool characters. From Drop a like universes. on this video so, if you like bad guys. Bad guys. <laughs> and I like good guys. Bad guys. Bad guys are always They always get the cooler stuff, the better vehicles and weapons, and they get the, the hot-ass, like, Evil chick with glasses, yeah, and and science, black leather coat, yeah, that just somehow makes well, it really I mean, hot. Marvel's got uh, what's her name? So she's uh, the Avenger chick, Black Widow, yeah, they got Black Widow. Donk, 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 God, damn. you know what? I was gonna point that out on the Marvel, thumbs Legend. up for Donkey Donk. The, the Marvel <laughs> Legend, like, it looks a lot like her, it's a good looking figure, but that booty ain't right, it's too not, small, it's not right, and, like, it don't even bang out like Rogue, the Marvel Legend Rogue, that booty is 
fire. It's like, bam! <laughs> I think we did that in our review. Because, <laughs> like, they make the women very suggestive in their figure sculpts. You know. But Black Widow just didn't have that donk that she's got. Nope. Like, i got to do a head swap on her. But anyway, guys, that's enough about talking about action figure booty. Yep. Um, like, we'll subscribe. And we'll catch you in the next one. Peace. <laughs> Weird. Awkward.